Beyond those numbers, there are stories of hope, and tonight some South Florida workers have their jobs back after a financial lifeline from their boss just came through. Here's CBS 4's Carrie Cott. When we visited Aldo's Cleaners in Coral Springs three weeks ago, the clothes hung quietly and the presses sat unmanned. On Wednesday, we saw a different story. Workers ironed pants, tended to orders, and moved clothes around. Katie Foreman is one of those who returned to work. I'm glad to get back out of the house and get back working. Owner Aldo Cataldo failed to get government funding through the first round of the Paycheck Protection Program, but he did receive 50 grand in the second round. That allowed him to bring back seven of his nine workers. They returned to work on Wednesday. We were a little frustrated getting it so late, but you know, pretty good feeling uh, knowing that you got a lifeline and you know, buying us some more time to uh, get back on our feet. Financially, it's been hard. Foreman said while she wasn't working for Aldo, she did receive federal stimulus money for her and her daughter, and she has another side job, but she's struggling to keep up with bills. This was my main income, so being home, not doing anything, not having no income. Um, luckily, my bills, my car payment, and certain people, you know, they've been working with me, um, and they're very understanding, but, I mean, not having that extra income come in, it really, it affected me and my bills. Cataldo said he feels gratified that he could bring back most of his employees. It was great. You know, we hadn't seen him in so long. And a lot of them have been working here for five, some of them ten years. The business is considered essential, so Cataldo stayed open the past few weeks, but estimated he lost 90 percent of his business. He said he's seen a slight uptick in sales recently, but he and his workers wonder how long it will take the economy and his bottom line to recover. If people don't get back to work, and if people aren't going to restaurants, and if people aren't having events like weddings and bar mitzvahs, and it's going to obviously impact us. And We're a small business, and people going out and doing things really help our business. We need their cleaning and their clothes in order to operate, so I was scared that we weren't going to be open anymore. Cataldo said the money he received from the Paycheck Protection Program will cover about two months of pay for his workers. And like many small business owners who receive this funding, they worry about the choices they might have to make if the economy doesn't recover in two months when that money runs out. In Coral Springs, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.